I feel so fortunate to be part of this fellowship and especially to be a, a fellow at Shooting. Uh, I feel that every day here I'm challenged intellectually and socially and professionally. A first impression that I had when I arrived was coming into class and thinking I was speaking really slowly and really clearly and telling my students that in the next class they should come to the classroom because on the first day, rather than go to the classroom, we went to get them from another room. And I wanted to do a comprehension check, so I said, so where will you come next time? So sure that they had understood my message, and of course, the student who answered said, I come from a small village, and this was my first impression of my teaching in China. So I've come a long ways since then, and so have the students, but that's always what I think of when I think of my first day here. We're given a lot of support uh, from the administration in terms of interacting with the school, um, which makes things go much, much smoother. We're given support in language learning. We're given support um, actually in terms, of, in terms of adjusting to the different life situations here. And today I was just introduced to one of my mentors, who's a Yale Chinese graduate, um, and has had a lot of experience in the business world, and she's helping me sort of figure out what I want to do next year in life. So, um, Yale China has provided a lot of support, and that's one of the things that makes this program really, really special for me. We're here to open their eyes, to show them a new world. We're here to learn from them as much as they learn from us. Last year, um, the Yale China Fellows got the opportunity to take a group of students to rural China to teach at a rural middle school. Uh, we taught basic English and then we also interacted with the rural students to kind of see uh, a very different part of China. At the end of the trip, it was a week-long trip, at the end of the trip, many of the students talked to me about just the idea of service, how they've never really thought about uh, real meaningful service to, to their society, their country, and what that means. One of the things I've been most pleasantly surprised about is um, how enthusiastic and eager Yali students are. Our students are motivated, committed, eager to learn, um, and really excited to get to know you. I'm from Shuni Middle School, and now I study in Central Southern University in Changsha. I'm very lucky to have a foreign teacher. Brandon and Michael and, and, and other two teachers are very, are very fun. For most of our students, they study so hard. They study six and a half days a week. And so part of our job is not so much to give them more work, but to try to make their life um, a little more colorful, as they would say. I'm going to miss my students. I'm going to miss uh, when I announce a test, how they collectively moan and groan. I'm going to miss being able to have them collectively cheer when I announce the next upcoming holiday. Trick or treat, repeat after me. Trick or treat. <laughs> I will miss Hui Cai. Hui Cai is the Huizhou cuisine, uh, the cuisine of the local area. They make a mean egg and onion dish. I miss the food. The food is so good in Changsha. One of my students came to my library hour this past Wednesday, and we were chatting about one of our common favorite topics, which is food. Um, and she talked about how she really valued um, home-cooked meals. So we had Sunday brunch in our canteen, where she brought food from home that she and her mom had cooked together. We have a nice market across the street with plenty of local Chinese food. And um, the ability to access that in just a five minute walk to go down, get all the things I need, come back with huge bags of produce for very almost no money, and to come back up and have a great meal with all, with all of my friends here um, is something I will really miss. I'll go out running and I'll meet neighbors through at Shining. They'll invite me to come into their house and have a cup of tea, or they'll give me a moon cake and we'll sit down for conversation. When I came here and one of my neighbors was Nainai, grandma, um, 
I didn't really know at first how to interact, but now whenever I see her, I'm so genuinely happy to tell her what I'm doing in whatever Chinese level is possible for me, usually just telling her, yes, I am going to eat food. No, I haven't eaten yet, but don't worry, I will eat soon. And it's great to see how um, I have this grandmother in my life here who is really my friend and lives right next door. At first I was really nervous about the two-year commitment of the fellowship, but it's now an aspect I really appreciate, especially since it will give me the opportunity to form really long-term relationships with my students. I'll be teaching the same students next year as those that I'm teaching now. Uh, it will give me a lot of time to develop my Chinese skills. Water, peace, is another facet I appreciate, and to explore this beautiful town. The second year has been nice because I feel like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> For next year, I'm excited to have a second chance. Just having one year of, of um, teaching, I don't think is enough for me personally to be able to um, reach a level in which I'd be satisfied with leaving China. Before I came to Yale China, I did not know any Chinese. The first two months, Yale China gives you um, a two month experience in Beijing working with a language program. For me, it was the first time I had studied an Asian language. It was really, really different. Um, a year and a half out now, I was just yesterday reading the newspaper and realized that I was reading it without a dictionary and, and having fun reading it. So after a year and a half, I've gotten that far in the language um, and I'm really, really grateful to have had that experience. The connection to community that I've formed as a teaching fellow is really lasting. Um, so now, even when I come back every time, people still recognize me, teachers all around the school, people all around the town. Um, and it just feels so great that it's like coming to another hometown, returning to another hometown, um, where the, the connection really hasn't faded in the years since I left Shoni. One thing that surprised me was how, how much history um, Yale China has, and how much respect the teaching fellowship has. Um, as a, a program and an institution. I remember we went to an event hosted by Yale China and it was a panel um, and Nancy, who's the director of the Yale China Association, introduced us as the new teaching fellows um, and everywhere in the room you could see you could see respect really. I think admiration was the overwhelming feeling that I got um, when I was in that room. At that moment I um, was very aware of how much this fellowship has meant to people in the past and, um, and the impact it has had on their lives. I can share my experience back in the States and they can share their experience here with me. And that really is special. Oh, no.